I'd like to start with the work of Maya Cabot, who's been represented by Slate since 2013. We've been able to present her work in seven gallery exhibitions, as well as two lobby exhibitions and multiple art fairs over these years. During the same period, she's continued to show at various venues in Los Angeles and New York, as well as in London, where she participated in an artist residency program at the Camden Art Center in 2016. Maya currently lives and works in Berkeley, California. Maya, we're looking- Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we're so excited about the work that you contributed to the exhibition and we're looking forward to more coming in once it returns yes. to the framers. Um, so we're just wondering if you could start by telling us a little bit about the larger series that these are uh -huh. part of um, and how this fits into that larger series. Yeah, okay. Well, like you said, in 2016, I went to London for residency. Um, and that's when I started using uh, exploring binary code um, as a conceptual approach to my practice. I'd been drawing and writing on paper and then disrupting the drawing with water. And my work on paper always drawn to language, uh, something about you holding a pen or pencil, working on paper, I am just immediately drawn to language. So I've been sort of just was like mulling over different ways of using language, but um, binary code really struck me because it's very simple. It's these two, you know, binary, obviously, that you can then use in infinite ways to communicate. And then it's not necessarily obvious uh, to normal folks who don't know how to read binary, but there is meaning there that, so I've been really interested in that. And then obviously like digital analog connection um, and the way we're, you know, on our computers constantly. So that just seemed like an interesting way of exploring a lot of things, a lot of ideas at once. So do you play with coding, math and physics in some of your works? Is this interest in any way connected with living in the center of tech in the Bay Area? Does your location as a longtime Oaklander inform your work? That's an interesting question. Um, I think, of course, um, things filter in, filter in. I think for me, um, I don't know if it's the Bay Area particularly. I did work in tech. I, I also have parents who are both scientists but I never, it was never my true strength, but I've always had a, a strong interest in the abstract um, ideas and math is sort of, it's a, one of those. Um, it's probably why I paint abstractly, but um, I think I'm just curious about things. And mostly I would say it's the, these hidden worlds that are influencing us, but we can't actually really see. So like binary code has a real impact on our lives. So we don't see it, like the coding in the computer we don't see it, but it's impacting us greatly. So I think for me, it's more the hidden patterns around us that are sort of impacting us um, more than specifically like a tech. This particular body of work uh, in black and white explores um, notions of silence. And I originally came to that concept through um, my research, I realized that there's a code for a space between words. So there's a code for a silence or an emptiness. Um, there's a symbol, excuse me, for emptiness. And I really thought that was so interesting and provocative and had a lot of just deep, rich meaning. You know, what, do, what is the negative space around our words and what is negative space in art? Of course, artists are, visually always interested in that, not always, but often. And so it just really resonated with me. So I've been exploring that. And then I also meditate and do yoga. So silence is part of my kind of personal practice, separate from my art practice, but it was a nice way for those two worlds to kind of come together. Doesn't always work that way, but it's really nice when it does. So I've been sitting in silence for many years and. Um, there, there's a lot of rich richness there, I think. So it, it, it's interesting to think about, um, but paper and writing, just language, it, they just go together to me. Like the material really 
informs the way I work and the way I think about working and um, the ideas that get explored in the end. Thank you, Maya. So if anyone would like to come see Black and White, we're currently open by appointment and the entire exhibition is online at slateart.net. We will, as things start opening up and moving in the coming weeks, hopefully be able to start opening to the public on Saturday afternoons and we'll keep the show up through the end of July. So I'm looking forward to having more opportunities to share it with people and a little more opportunities to actually sit in the gallery and enjoy the work myself. <laughs>